What is up, super fans and mega fans on Patreon? Yo, yo, check it out. A new month, a new reward. And this time we got Inner Beats, which is a robot head that opens up. The parts are emitting on the beat. The outer parts emitting on the beat. We got some crazy stuff. I'm going to show you now what uh, I think you can do with it. It's just the beginning, right? These are things that I created, the deck. And you can take it from here, use it, or even add your own variations to it. So let's go over the nine different clips first. So the first clip is a front shot of the head. We got four different uh, reveals here. So the first one is chakra reveal. The next one is scan from up to down. A scan from left to right, and the last one is rotating lights. These are four different clips inside one clip, and we got the same thing from the side. So I just changed the camera angle here, and by that I created a different uh, angle of the robot head. We can later compose them together. Interestingly, I'll show you how. The next one is uh, this uh, bit. Uh, I call it. I call it uh, bit emit. So. Uh, the same thing happens here with the different parts of the head emitting on the beat. You see also the uh, ears area is also pumping and we can uh, then later uh, get it on the beat. And the same clip from the side so we can uh, compose them together. The next one is uh, the same thing but without any emitting uh, uh, parts. And also from the side, you can see the area of the ear here very well. And uh, this is actually the clip that I started with, uh, which is the face opens up, showing inside the parts uh, that emit on the beat and then closes. And this, and by the way, all the clips here, you see are uh, that's the way you get them, get them on the side because I wanted to use as, my, as many pixels as, as possible. So, um, this animation, by the way, you can see that it opens up here. So you can see it opens up from the mouth area and all the way to the top. And then we have eight seconds of just the, uh, uh, the eyes moving and the different uh, uh, parts emit on the beat. And then it closes up a little bit differently. Everything is closing together. So we can then maybe have this as a different uh, clip later. We got the same thing from the side. Uh, and we got another clip, which is just the uh, close up of uh, the eyes. And we can uh, have all these uh, inner clips inside it as well. You know, just, uh, just the eight seconds of it uh, moving inside. And these are the nine clips. By the way, all of these clips, they are transparent, so you can have anything you want behind them. And, uh, and um, these are the nine clips. Okay, so what can we do with these nine clips? Let's start by uh, having uh, this kind of a tree multi, tree heads uh, together. We got the first clip here in the center and the second clip is a trick I'm using quite often just uh, using transform to move it to push it to the side and then flip to duplicate it like a mirror and then we can have a different uh, different looks you see because each one of them has four different parts when I trigger them separately I can have uh, different uh, parts that reveal with different uh, different timings. So I just want to emphasize here, you see that uh, each of the... When you get the clips, you get them without... Um, you get them in a still. The head is not moving. That's why and the reason for that is for you to be able to maybe map it later on a head in a, in a show when you have a head to project on or something like that. And what I did, I you see the, the difference here? In these clips, the heads are slightly moving, a little bit of a position X and Y, and a little bit of rotation. And I want to show you how I created this. So we have here a position X and position Y. 
and you get an envelope here, just a random uh, envelope. I call it noise, ease, and um, I'm having the X and Y here, and I'm having a different envelope, which a little bit uh, rotates. And I did it because I want to have some kind of, a, to add some liveliness, you know, I just don't want to be like still. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know that I used it on most of the clips here. And if you just, uh, if you don't want it, just uh, close these, uh, uh, these trans, uh, transform um, features. So this was the, the chakra reveal and uh, the next clip is, uh, I used it here a, a linear cloner with a delay <clears throat> to create this um, a kind of a delayed reveal. So in one clip we can have two different uh, looks. The next one is uh, using, you see that it's using only part of these uh, four different uh, reveals in a clip. So this one is using the second part and this one is using the third part. And uh, that's how I created this. Uh, I, I think it's an interesting look and uh, beautiful. The next one is the same thing I had with the, I showed before, just a linear cloner. And uh, you can, of course, each one of the clips see exactly what kind of effect stacks I use and uh, really go drill into how it works. The next uh, one I added here, another, um, just a, a mid on the beat here. You see, uh, just a scale on the beat. And uh, I also added here some kind of a background that I created also with the parts of this. Um, I'll show you later what are the parts, but just a, uh, trying to create some kind of backgrounds that are made from the same parts of the head in an abstract way to have everything tied up to the same look, to have some consistency when you mix them together. So this is another look. Um, and by the way, I want to show you how this is made. These three lines are actually made. Let's close this. So what we have here is this is the original clip and I'm adding a delay RGB, right? So I suddenly get three lines of, out of it and I'm using the U rotate to rotate the U's a little bit to get different colors. And then I'm using this um, just on the scale here, an envelope to make it a uh, bounce and adding just a little bit of a glow on top of everything. And this is how I created uh, these looks. We got another one that uh, has this on the center and this is made uh, with a flip here. So you see the flip here is at 50 opacity with an add. So when I have it on, it duplicates uh, this, uh, this, uh, vertical, these vertical lines. This was it. And this is the fourth part of the reveals. We're still on the same first clip, yeah? And so, this is the first, uh, the same um, um, clip and we've got here the same array, but uh, different uh, background here. See only the background also, right? It's in a, some kind of an abstract thing like from the side head. This is it. The next one is just an experiment I did with the edge detection. I like edge detection, but the VGing tends to overdo it, so careful with that. And another uh, clip here, and we can get to the bits now. So let's uh, just have uh, these. Okay, so I sped this clip a little bit uh, faster, and we got these uh, clips on the side. So it's a nice, uh, nice array. And you can add, of course, any kind of a background that you want because it's transparent. And we have another uh, array here where the center is uh, pushed in the back, supposedly. Right? And uh, all kinds of... Uh, so similar array like this. 
let's move on to this uh, uh, opening up of the head. So we've got a clip here, as I showed you already, uh, opening up four seconds, and then we got these eight seconds, and then it closes up. So this clip is everything together. This clip is just the, the eight seconds of the middle. And uh, this clip is uh, the closing up and opening again of the first part. And this one is uh, the end just in a, in a sped up uh, and it sits on the beat. We can also, of course, uh, um, compose them with different uh, clips. Also, by the way, we got uh, here, maybe you can change the use of the channel itself, of the layer. So uh, everything you play uh, will have uh, the, the blue, the blue uh, rotation of the use below and uh, the upper clips will be uh, the normal rotation. Or of course, we can uh, change it also. We also got some uh, flickering with the levers here. Let's open uh, for this. We can also open the flickering of the levers, right? Change the use, do some crazy stuff. And let's uh, close this for now. So I'm closing the use. And here. So let's uh, talk about the close up. So the close-up also, similarly to the uh, clip itself, uh, we can have an opening and closing. We can have this thing, but what I like most here is the uh, eye movement. This one and this one, and you see all the parts are meeting on the beat here. And uh, joy, just the uh, joyfulness. So these were the clips themselves, and then I created some kind of uh, different uh, kinds of uh, abstract bits. So what I did here, for instance, I uh, took this side head, moved it to a different place, added a mirror, and then created this uh, array with this. You see that the, the start radius and, and the start scale are also uh, uh, here on an envelope to make it all bounce, and it uh, works well with this. So here you are, and uh, I created all kinds of these. You can just uh, check each one of them uh, on its own to see how it's made. And uh, also radial cloner of uh, something that's totally unreasonable, un un unexplainable, and this is a uh, the right and left speakers, of course, and uh, together with uh, with a center head, you can uh, have them the nice composition. What do we have else here? Uh, these heads are being punched by this. Another one. All kinds of uh, different. Uh, arrays that I created for you and as I said, just the beginning, guys, you can just take it from here and uh, build your own stuff. So this is how I took these nine clips and uh, prepared them with the uh, intention to have it, uh, each clip from two different angles so I can later compose them and have all these kinds of uh, different uh, emitting parts to have uh, it emit on the beat. I hope it will uh, help you visualize the beat, amaze your audience in your next performance. I was STV. You are super fans on Patreon. I really appreciate you. And uh, until the next month, amaze them. <laughs>